Peace, y'all. Peace to the divine infinite consciousness. Yo, this one calls for a blunt. I said, fuck it. This one's about the child support, man. You know what I'm saying? And to show you how ridiculous that shit is and how you're still dealing with broken people. Uh, mine's, for instance, you know, my child support, they're gangsters, right? You know what I'm saying? I have my child. Just give you a, 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 be, a brief background history of how I had my seeds. Okay, biologically. You know, I got with a female that had seeds already. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and so as time grew, I had to, you know, figure it out. The female was older than me. and uh, But, she, you know, she couldn't finesse me. You know, I loved it anyways. You know what I mean? As far as, uh, you know, guiding and, you know, and this whole knowledge of self thing. Because she had knowledge of self too. So, anyways, though. So, we had the baby. I mean, you know, we're going to have the, the lotus birth. And we, you know, really conscious of it. And, you know, at the hospital, um, had the baby at night. We had to hurry up and uh, leave, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they wanted to cut the placenta off and, you know, they wanted to do all kinds of different things. And so, we went through hell. So, when we left the hospital, they tried to chase us, basically, and send police, child protection, and a nurse to the house the next day to try to take the baby, you know what I'm saying? Especially the police was there because if I was going to be there, child protection, that's the reason. And the nurse is going to be like, yo, the baby's in danger. You know what I'm saying? And so, basically, uh, we had to hide and, you know, do all these different things for like two weeks until the placenta fell off, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to go all up to my family house, you know what I'm saying? And I'm dealing with my, my mother at that time. She wanted to kick us out with the newborn baby. You know what I'm saying? And so, it was like, damn, you know, this is like, you know, it's just, I'm just looking at this shit like. So... I studied already. I was studying broken people. You know what I'm saying? I started studying the psychology of shit. Like, you know? So anyways, um, um, you know, the, that ended up, you know, so we had the baby. We went through a lot of hell, you know what I'm saying? With the baby. With um, just learning things that you go through as a parent, you know? So, boom. Things didn't work out. We had, uh, I'm going to say things didn't work out right then. We had another seed. I, I threw another seed up in there. A wisdom seed. We had the baby at home. I learned how to have the baby. I learned how to do all these little different things to make sure this time around. So she did her part, got the, the doula, the midwife, boom, we had it gangster-wise. After that, you think that we'll stick together as far as like for the seeds, you know what I'm saying, that don't give each other up to the system, but no. And so we like, yo, don't do all that, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, I wasn't a cheating guy and then I always handled my business, so, you know. It, it, and also, I'm young, so I'm growing, so I'm really into my knowledge itself. You know what I'm saying? I had to get this pat down first if I was going to have seeds. Because I was just going to leave America. Like, fuck it. So I couldn't leave my responsibility, so I had to stay here. Before you know it, I get this letter that said, oh, you got child support. Child support? For what? I got my babies. We don't need them in our shit. But, you know, the most gangsters of child support, these motherfuckers want to take all the bread, make sure I'm homeless, make sure I ain't got shit, so I got to do something extra to get some money and to live in their world and i'm not even in a shit I'm, I'm just like yo i'm just here but i'm not of the world so i just go to show you like every little slave site that a mug go to um let you know my sees mom is doing pretty much well off she got a nice house and you know 2018 19 vehicle you know what i'm saying um getting the majority of my child support a majority of my checks you know what i'm saying if, if my child support 683 a month just give, them, give you an understanding. 683, I don't even get no money out the shit, really. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm just here. And this motherfucker, basically, that's what she think that's what I'm supposed to do. It's just work for that, you know what I mean? And forgot the, the, the mission. So anyways, though, um, and then, you know, that's the lens. You get to see what the brokenisms is about, you know what I'm saying? Some people are agreeable. Some people ain't, you know? That's just how it is. Some people are unpaired or unequally yoked, you know? You know? So now the child support then caught up to my new gig. And they want to take all the shit now. You know what I'm saying? So, they see the positivity, the vibrations going up higher. I'm like, damn, my left hand's itching real hard. For what? They see, I'm like, damn. So, you know, my little supervisor hits me up like, yo, yeah, I got this little order from the child support. They tell me they ready to get it this week. I'm like, damn, this week? I put in all that overtime, too. <sighs> but it just goes to show you. I was invited over to my C's mom's house, you know what I'm saying? And, uh. Just give you an understanding. I get invited over. They're like, okay, it's cool. My C's dad say I can come over. I come over there. I maintain ain't doing nothing. I get argued at like I'm with her. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even do shit. I'm like, yo, it's just how it is, man. You know what I'm saying? On that note, 
person can have everything. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all can see how people feel. But I'm naturally joyful, though. You know what I'm saying? So, And that's what makes people mad about me. Because I eat serotonin foods, you know. You know, my ass is out. Y'all see where I'm at. I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Relaxing. But they want to they wanna have a problem with that. They want to have a problem with you just smoking some green or something. Oh, you can't do that. They want to roll up on you, put your lights on you. They want to shoot niggas. And at the meantime, I'm in my T's life. You know what I'm saying? And they want to, they want to, they, we want to, they want to protect it from me. But, but the beast is shooting at them and doing all that shit at the, at the, at the black, the young black man or young copper man with woolly hair. You know, it's just ridiculous, man. You know what I'm saying? We have no gangs. We're not running deep. So now the dad's out the home. It's like they just pushed the mug out the home, like the Willie Lynn syndrome. Like, damn, just willingly gave my seeds up. I was on the whole kick. Don't put the seeds in school, just things of that nature. We're going to teach them or put them in school for just communion and shit. But, you know, it was all good and fine and dandy. And then I found a good school. Like, okay, fuck it. We're going to put them in school. I found a great one. Wanted to take my daughter. Don't want to do anything that I do. That's how it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Get clothes for it. They get hid from places, you know? So, it's just how that works, man. You know what I'm saying? But at, through it all, I've always still been with my seeds. You know what I'm saying? So they'll see when it comes to in the end because, you know, that's just how it works. But however, that child support shit, especially with fathers who's there, man, that shit is like, they know already what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's their hell. That's what they got to go through. You shouldn't even really be going through that shit. When niggas used to have families on the other side of the towns, they took care of those families too. But, you know, you got mugs, you got people who are broken. That's why I'm like, I'm not dealing with broke people. I, mean, I ain't talking about money. I'm talking about just broke people. I ain't dealing with no broke motherfuckers no more, man. Because they got to heal themselves. They got to go through that shit. They got to realize that they broken. They don't even know that they broken. You know what I'm saying? So, they got to go through that shit, B. I'm not dealing with none of them, you know. The, I'm dealing with the ones who spark, ready, willing, and ready to go and better themselves, yo. You know what I'm saying? And see, the, yo, better your shit. Keep your shit going amidst the hell. You know what I'm saying? In the wilderness North America and get the fuck up out of here like the Bible keeps saying. You know what I'm saying? But they trap niggas who got child support so you can't travel because you can't get no passport. Can't get no license. Can't do this, that, and the third. You just, all of this dumb ass shit. You see what I'm saying? It's not meant for you to be in this motherfucker, man. They shooting at you. You just whatever in the fuck. You trying to go to work. You trying to go to school. You trying to do all this shit. You got obstacles in the world when you're doing this shit. You got to dress certain ways. You got to look certain ways. You got to speak certain ways. You got to do certain gestures. Like. Shit like that, man. So, you know, it's not meant for you. You got to understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it wouldn't be no other reason I would be up in this motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. But. You know, I'm here right now, so nah, I'm here for my seeds and shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, I got this far, and I let these motherfuckers try to gun down my shorties or whatever the fuck, man. And I got this far for protection, and my seeds mom is handing them back to them regularly. And I just, just don't understand. And taking the money like it's going to do something and better. I asked. I said, is that going to do anything? If it makes it better? She know, already right. know. It just, it just doesn't. So, so it makes it makes sense to work together, even if I ain't with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can have babies with other men or whatever. Let them take care of the babies. Let them be on child support. But I'm the only one. It's because I know how the broken psychology works. You know what I'm saying? My daughter right now. You know what I'm saying? My daughter's on point. She's a very good, very, very good. Uh, her soul is on point, man. I call it a cool soul, man. My C's mom's dealing with issues that she never dealt with when she was younger. And so putting my daughter in and in situations that I disagree with. I ain't all hoopla and yelling and shit, but I do disagree. And the more I disagree, the more they want to push it. It's like some people want to self-sabotage. And you have to look into what borderline personality disorder when you self-sabotage. Because the borderline personalities, the queen, the waff, the waif, or the um the witch, the hermit, they do all these things. They self-sabotage themselves. They cut themselves. These are your ones who do sexually, who's very sexual, who goes to all your strip clubs and all this shit and throw money at these motherfuckers. These men are women, but women in general. You know what I'm saying? And to, women are more narcissistic than men. We don't have shit. We, know, we learn that shit from them to get what they like, which is the material. And boom, there we go. You know what I'm saying? 
in real life, men is really borderline personality disorder. You know what I'm saying? Psychopath type shit. If we had a disorder, you know, that's really what it would be. So, as far as like borderline, you know, very, still empathic, but you know, it's deep. You know, with abandonment issues and stuff like that. So that's what one's got to acknowledge and shit. But when you're dealing by yourself, you won't have to worry about that shit because you start raising your kundalini and your shit. Shit won't even be affecting you in the world. All this shit is low vibrational. I'm just acknowledging it and letting you see like yo this is a new game new hell and shit must see you elevating you know and you know and seeing that hey man damn that shit didn't work you know oh well you know what i'm saying but i'm not here to hurt or try to intentionally hurt anybody i'm just doing me and living me you know what i'm saying regardless of what my physical or you know what i'm saying the eternal me so with that, I'm going to say peace. Thank you all for doing the knowledge and listening. But that child support shit is definitely, uh, is definitely not where it's at. So, brothers that force brothers to come together. And then that's going to let you know you control sex. You the one that controls sex. She don't run that shit, B. She the one that got to come. You don't have to. And that's just what I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? You use your creativity. You just make her ass come. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. That's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You come in other direct in other ways. You have an orgasm experience in another way. There's other ways to have orgasms. I want you to know. So build up your chi. Build up your shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about your 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 come on, build up all the all of your uh your your semen, your semen retention, you know, and um and also your kundalini. You know, because you're gonna get to a point when you get past this. You like I'm I'm up, B. You know what I'm saying? So you you kind of want to be operating from somewhere from here to here. Still got feeling and empathy, but hey, I'm still up on this shit and I'm up. You know, but I can communicate and deal with you, motherfuckers. But well, other than that, peace, more love, bless, subscribe, and I'll deal with you later.